In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can simplify algebraic expressions with a process called combining like terms. As we do that, let's first look at what a term is. A term is a product of numbers and or variables. For example, a term might be something like 3ab, 3 times a times b, or it might be negative 7a squared, variables and numbers together. It might even just be a variable x or just a number like 1 half. And one thing about terms is the way they are separated in expression is they are separated by either an addition or a subtraction sign. I said we wanted to combine like terms, so what exactly is a like term then? Well, a like term is when the variables and the exponents match exactly. Well, what's special when the variables and exponents match exactly? For example, let me show you what an example of that would be. Uh, 3x to the 5th y and negative 4 x to the 5th y. In both of these, you'll notice the variable part, x to the 5th y, matches exactly. That means they are like terms. Let me show you kind of a rough example of why like terms are, are interesting to us. Let's say, um, we've got two people we're looking at, and one of the people has five cats, and in addition to that, they have three dogs. Okay? And then there's another person who comes along and joins the party, and he has two cats and six dogs. What's interesting to us is we might be interested in how many cats and dogs are here. Well, the first guy had five cats, and the second guy had two cats. So now how many cats do we have? Well, there's seven cats. And the other guy had three dogs, and this guy had six dogs. We've got a total of nine dogs at this event. And so what you see we've done here, I used C for cats and D for dogs. What I did is we can add the coefficients, coefficients, I think that's how you spell it. Coefficients is the fancy word for the number. Add the coefficients, or the numbers, from like terms. As you can see, I added the 5 and the 2 from the cats to get 7 cats total. Add the numbers. Same with the dogs. 3 and 6 gave me the 9. So, for example, if I was looking at a problem like 5x minus 6y plus 2x minus 9y minus 4x, we want to combine the like terms together, the things that are alike, that can be counted together. We've got 5x, but what's like it? Well, the 2x is like it. So is the minus 4x. Those are all like terms, so they can be combined. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 minus 4 gives us 3x's remaining. We also have negative 6y's, keeping the sign with the number, the opposite of 6y, and negative 9y. Combining those together will give us negative 15y's. And this is going to be our final solution. We cannot combine the 3x and negative 15y because they're not like terms. They don't count as the same thing. We can follow the same process with this example. We've got 3ab, which is like the negative 6ab, which leaves us with negative 3ab. There's also 2a squared, which is like the 4a squared. Add the numbers together, and we get positive 6 of these a squareds. Negative 5b squared is like negative 3b squared, giving us negative 8b squared. And we have our final answer. We can't combine any more because the terms are not exactly alike. Identifying like terms will help us simplify these algebraic expressions.